Ray Odierno. I'm the 38th Chief of Staff of the Army. Well, I think, you know, I learned as a more senior commander years later, as I took on more and more responsibility as a division commander, as a corps commander, and as a theater commander, the, the real challenge is you get, you have large staffs, and as our information technology grows, you're get, gathering more and more and more and more information. So the difficult part is what's, what's the critical information? How do you share that critical information? And how do you collate that in such a way where you can make the right decision? So as, as, the, as a leader, you have to, you have to work that. You can't, you can't have somebody else work that for you. You have to understand and decide how you're gonna get information, how do you want input, that will allow you to make the right decisions, allow you to provide the right guidance to your subordinate elements. And to me, that's the most critical thing you can do as a leader, and it takes a sense. So it's, it's just not collecting information sitting in a building and a staff. It's about being out there. It's about leading from the front. Well, you got to enjoy what you're doing. And that we, we deal with some of the greatest young men and women in our country today. And if you're not enjoying it, then you don't get what it is about being a leader. Uh, and then it's about making hard decisions. Um, you know, you have to morally and ethically uphold what you, what you believe is the tone and culture of our country and, the arm, and, and in the Army. And you have to be willing to enforce that, and sometimes that's pretty difficult. You got, you got to take action against people, and you got to be willing to make tough decisions. You got to be willing to set high standards. You know, I always say firm but fair. And my, my responsibility is to ensure that that we have that there. I would say with three, but we have the right end strength. We have we sustain a level of readiness that's appropriate to the missions we'll be asked to do. And we continue to modernize our force in such a way that we'll, we'll be able to meet our commitments today and into the future. And I got to balance all of that. I got to make sure that the budget is right. And I got to make sure that we have leader development programs that continue to develop our leaders into the future. I got to make sure we continue to encourage the professional ethic. I got to make sure that we sustain a high quality all volunteer army, continue to bring in the right men and women. So it's that responsibility of preparing the army to hand off to the combatant commanders so when they need them, I hand them off to them and they're ready to accomplish whatever mission they're given. Uh, it's a big job, but it's an incredibly satisfying